Okay, let's move on to number five, chain calls. So the idea here is to uh, avoid tying up your browser while the JavaScript API is running on the server. So they give us some options here using the promise specification. We have a then, otherwise, and always. So after we run something, we have a then uh, command with uh, two properties. What happens when it's successful? What happens when it errors? Otherwise handles when it errors always happens regardless. Pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and copy this function, paste it, and apply it. Okay. There we go. I've got to paste it right here. I'll repaste it. So let's apply what they're about to do in theirs. Come back here to this page. Let's run the code. And it selects a different page, activates this page right here. Then it applies a filter, grabs all, it looks like it filters on, oh, I'll have to run it again and find out actually. Filters, and after it filters, it does a select. There we go. Activates a sheet, filters a sheet, selects a sheet. So let's go back just so you can see that happen one more time real quick. All right, I'm gonna, oh, sorry, I probably need to, uh, yeah, there's our purposely triggered error. I'm gonna skip that one. I think I need to go back to switch to this sheet. There we go, so I can start this again, chain calls. All right, so we should see this sheet selected, this filter applied, between those dates, and then select all GDPs that are at least 20,000, whatever that is, run. Okay, selected the sheet. Did it all pretty quick there all at once. Anyway, let's let's give it a try here. Let's select um, something we can apply a range filter on and then select marks. Well, back here, uh, you know, we can do it on Let's say we're starting on the map view. Let's switch to the sales view. Oops. Oh, I'm going to refresh this guy. Okay, map view. There we go. Let's switch to sales view. And then let's select losses. Oh, did I break my losses? I'm going to have to check that. Oh, that's, that's meant to work on the map view. Select losses. Oh, I may have broken that. I better take a quick look at that. And then select only, oh, I think I'm supposed to select US and Mexico and then select losses. There we go. So let's just trigger those three things in a, in a row, switching from sales view to map view, selecting US and Mexico, then selecting losses. That'll make it nice and easy. Okay, so the map view is called. Let's try and remember here. I have to open up my Tableau again. Uh, I think we've got it up here. When I'm switching sheets, uh, map view, global sales and profits. That's the name of that sheet. So let's put that one in here. Okay. It's important to return the promise. So the next link in the chain won't be called until after. Yep. Got it. So next we are going to return a replace filter on, let's see if we're on the map view, we want to filter then by here's my selection. I think what we want here, oops. This is profits and sales. So profit is colored, but it's showing the size of sales. Let's filter on sales that are above, I don't know, above 50,000. We can do that. So back here, let's change this to filter on sales. And I oh, see they're doing a date. I just want to say I'm not going to filter on a date. We're going to filter on anything that's at least 50,000. But remember, that's um, aggregate sales. So I'm going to need, oh, and I left my parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and hit sum. There we go. Where the sum of sales is at least 50,000. Then let's select only those in the uh, US and Mexico. We can do that. Let's just grab and copy this again from up here. Uh, 
let's see, select marks async. I think we just need to paste this one now right there. Let's tab this in. All right, am I missing anything? Let's double check. We're doing a replace, a replace. Um, grabbing both of those. I think we're good. Let's give that a shout. Let's give it a button, first of all. Control D. We're going to call this chain example and grab this. Switch tabs, then filter, then select marks. Yep. Got it. Save it. Back here. Let's refresh. So my chain example should grab the map first. Then it grabbed everything over 50. So all these should be over 50 in sales, which they are. And then it returned only those in the US and Mexico. Cool. There's our chain example. Let's move on.